system to work at all, the velocity has to be much higher than what you see in other styles because it is completely loose and for the most part there's no close fits. Now I won't say that definitively, but by close fist I mean the old Shaolin fist where your hands like a rock. Mm -hmm. This won't work in a style like Meho because of the speed. Um, you cannot take something that's solid and bring it to the speed that you need to in order for the system to work. Um, yeah, because when I watch you move in your forms, it looks like you're just like a loose noodle, just moving, you know, lightning speed, but just completely relaxed in the midst of it. I chose Leo because as a smaller individual who is not focused on the ring, you know, that I did that with a fighting team for quite a while. And right. That's the pass for me on 59. Um, you need to be able to actually effectively do things, and Leo Ho focuses on soft targets. I'm not going to say it never punches somebody in a hard target, but I'd say 90% of everything is soft target. And even if you do accidentally hit a hard target, you're supposed to instantly follow up with soft targets. So, <clears throat> so it's not a one, one and done. It's like a chipping away at the guy. Well, it is one and done because, I, no, I won't say it's always one and done. Okay. You know, Baji prides itself on having something that is one and done. Right. At the right. end of the. But Leo Ho specifically. Leo Ho specifically is one and done if you train it to the level where your hands are moving so fast that when you hit the soft target it shatters, which it okay. I mean, you know, you've done iron palm. Right. You, know, you don't break a brick by tightening up your arm. No. It's just not the way it works. So if you're hitting somebody in the... Which just, I mean, and it doesn't even compute in your head because you think... You know, you gotta be tough, you gotta be strong, and it just is the exact opposite right. of how Iron Ball works. Exactly, it's, it's all about the, the velocity. Um, and it doesn't even matter how big your arm is. The, the faster you're moving, the more impact you're gonna have. So if you're hitting somebody in the carotid or in the, in the, uh, the esophagus, right. or the medulla, or you know, the, the floating ribs, you're not going to have to have a board or a brick. You're just going to have to have extreme fast motion. 